Welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking and by grabbing some of my free ebooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series. Read the first two ebooks for free. And I'm also promoting Obelin's Dragon Rite, a fantasy story about the bonds of friendship. You can read the first ebook of that series for free by finding the link in the upper right hand corner or one in the description to my website. And now to the video. In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to grab the plans for a small backpack. This guide will bypass the quest, the Order of the Tadpole. Now, I do recommend getting going through the quest if you'd like to have some of the mods that go with the backpack because this plan is just a standard plan, but at least it'll get you going in the game and you can do this at any level. And the first thing you're going to do is go to this airport. Now, if the event feed the people pops up go to the feed the people event because the airport is right there and that's how i got my ride close to the airport let me show you on the map feed the people is located at mama dulce food processing that's where i'm at right now and the airport is just directly north of that so i'm gonna go up place a marker there so that I can know what direction that I need to go in. And the name of the airport is, is the Morgantown Airport, which is not on my map just yet because I haven't discovered it with my new character, but it's also where the event collision course is at. So if that also pops up, you could uh, go to that event and begin this quest. So let me go ahead and get into the quest that you're gonna be doing lot fat lot lot faster than doing the tadpole quest but again i do recommend if you like having the backpack to do the tadpole quest later order the tadpole because you'll be able to get the mods for the backpack and it's the only way you can get the mods and for another map reference this uh, airport is located directly east of vault 76. i am coming in through the south side and you will be coming to an area that's really uh, fortified, but there is a road and a fence and a whole bunch of tents. That's what you're looking for. Once you get to the tent area, this small tent area is the one closest to the Morgan train station as another reference point. It's gonna be off to your right as you're coming in south. And you're just looking for the door to go in. And it's gonna be in this middle section of this building that's with all the tents and there's the door. Once you go in the door, the quest should automatically start if you haven't already activated it already. The name of the quest is Final Departure. It has to do with the overseer and the responders. If nothing happens when you walk into the door, it might be that you've already started the quest and just haven't finished it. What you need to do is go into your Pip-Boy, go over to the data section of your Pip-Boy. Under main, you're gonna find final departure. Click your X or active button to highlight it. And that way the ticker will appear as you play the game. And just so you know, I'll be fast forwarding through a lot of these scenes just so I can get to the point and get you to this area as quickly as possible. So, never mind this scene, but as you enter the door and walked in, to your left was this airplane helicopter that's up, sorry, helicopter that's up here, Verdi Bird. And I'm gonna get a bearing by looking right at it. So, to your left as you walk in, find this Verdi Bird and then just follow these steps. Now, this is a different angle. I'm coming from the side to the Verdi Bird, but as you face the Verdi Bird, to the left is this door that you see up ahead. Go through it and then to your right is a stairs that will descend down, fall it down and around. Scorch are everywhere so it's very hard unless you got your sneak maxed out to actually sneak around them so it's just best to take them out. And from the tunnel you're just going to be going through the door that's straight ahead. There's a desk to the right for a reference, double doors. Keep an eye on the ticker that is in the lower part of your screen. Not only does it tell you how many, I think it's feet away you are, but it also tells you if you have to go up or down. Once you defeat the scorch in the area, line up your ticker so that you're facing this standing, I think it's a pipe. 
And once you're there, you're going to go off to the left. The next point of reference you're going to be looking for is a large hole in the wall that's straight ahead now. And off to the right of it is double doors. So there's the crack in the wall and the double doors. Go to the double doors. They will be most likely locked either way. Turn to your right and go through this tunnel. And then you're going to go up a set of stairs that are on the left. They will take you to a room that has a Tinker workbench to the right, there it is, and just go straight through. A jail cell is directly in front of you. You're going to go to the right, past that uh, valley thing, I forget what they're called, that carries suitcases, brain dead a little bit. And then you're going to enter this open room, there will be lots of scorch. And once you clear the scorch, go through the metal detector. And then you're going to make a right. Now, at the end of this hallway, your destination is to the right, but you need to grab a key card before you can go through that door. There is a swiper right here. So you're going to have to go left and down the stairs. Go ahead and check the reader in case you already have the card, but if you don't, go down the stairs and just follow the tunnel. And once you go through this door, just defeat the scorch that are on the other side and straight through behind them is an open door with who looks like a police officer or someone sitting in a chair. That's your destination. They are a responder, so take off what's on their body, but they're actually holding the key card in their hands. So make sure to grab the key card from their hand. You can peek through this crevice, but can't go through. Turn back and return to that door that had the reader. Use the key card on the reader, open the door, and go up the set of stairs to the next room. Defeat all the scorch that are in this room. Once you do that, uh, take out the last scorch. Welcome to the neighborhood will pop up. You're very close now. Go up past the Verdi bird that has crashed through. You're looking for this responder symbol. Take the door on the right. Nope, yeah, the right. There it is, close, oh so close. Now go through the door, you're okay, great job. All right, and then up ahead, which was your destination, is this cache, overseer cache. There are a bunch of plans, including the small backpack. Don't forget to learn it because you won't be able to build it until you learn it. If you don't know how to learn a plan, you go into your notes and just click on it. Yep, there they are. Get safety posters, some type of statue, look like. Yes, good job. You're so cool. Yes, you little tomahawk girl. You did such a good job with your tomahawks. Yes, if you didn't know, I was starting a new build with just tomahawks. I was allowed to use only tomahawks and the occasional uh, flint weapon. But anyway, so now you know, this is the fastest way to get your player a backpack. Now it's a small backpack, not the standard, but a small backpack. If you do the order of the tadpoles that I've been mentioning about, you will get an actual standard backpack, which is a little bit larger and you'll be able to start adding mods to it. But you gotta earn badges and it takes long, long time. But at least with this little tiny small backpack, you'll be able to add more weight and carry more. And depending on the resistance that you face, whether you sneak or can't sneak, it takes probably less than an hour to do the entire thing. Which included for me running from Mama Dosi's uh, food factory food processing factory to find the airport for this low level character. Well, this was actually one of my longer quick guides, but I wanted to give details on how to get there and some highlights. So it did take a little bit longer, but that is basically it now for this video. If you found it informational or helpful, don't forget to like and share and do subscribe to my channel until next time.